It's another killer USB device, but this time it's not killing humans, it's killing computers. And this hub here has apparently claimed the life of three Macs. That's that's quite a an expensive hub. So um, this was sent to me uh, by a chap called Oron, who said that, you know, they finally narrowed it down, this hub was killing computers, and it's only when this was plugged into a non-Mac computer and its power light started flickering on and off that uh, they realised, oh, it's the hub that's causing all the problems. So he sent it to me to analyse, and the first thing I did was a check to see if this was sticking out erroneous voltage in the little plug-in power supply, and it's not. It's putting about 5.4 volts offload, but it's not putting out any reference to the mains, and I checked it in a PAT uh, tester. I just clamped the output and uh, plugged this into the input and did an insulation test between the, uh, from to the effectively to the case, but effect, putting the case tester lead onto this, and it came out clear. And I certainly, using a set of test lamps, couldn't detect anything coming out in this. So then I plugged it into this and uh, powered it up. Let's do that right now, in fact. So that's a uh, little blue lights on, showing that the unit is active. And if I plug in little, you can plug in loads, and uh, you know it's powering all the output ports. And I thought, so what's uh, how can I test to see? I wonder if it's actually back feeding, putting five volts back into the computer, because it shouldn't do that. Uh, where's a, my notepad? That notepad is buried here, but that's all right. I can find it. Technically speaking. If you've got the host computer and you plug the USB in, uh, the only lines that I th reckon, I'm going to double check this, but the only lines I reckon should be connected to the powered hub are the negative, the sort of ground, and the two data lines. Data, or pata as I've written. So. That's all that should be connected, as far as I know. The 5 volts should not effectively be coming across to avoid back feeding into the host. So I experimentally, I plugged the host lead in here. And I was thinking, how can I check this? And I got one of these little uh, USB load testers and just plugged it in the output of that. And the LEDs lit up and I thought, oh, that's not great. And then I got another one and plugged it in and yeah, it would power them all. And then I got a little light and plugged, because this one's got uh, two sockets on it, this tester, I plugged a load into it. And yep, uh, so this hub is powering the source, it's powering the host, which is not a good thing because uh, apparently the Macs would operate fine while they were on, but when you turned them off they just wouldn't ever wake again. It had basically put them to sleep forever. Uh, they apparently required new motherboards, which is quite severe. So let's take a look inside this and see if it's just if it's an accidental connection or if it's uh, a deliberate connection. So here's the power coming in, and the negatives are going straight. Let's see if I can show. There's the power coming in there, and the negative is connected directly to the negative pin, the shell pin of the uh, host port, and the output of the host port, the other side of the host port, let's see if I can find it here, there, is connected directly to the negative pin, so that the negatives got continuity all the way through. And then if you look at the positive here, it just goes runs, so the, basically speaking, the power line is just going straight to that port. There's no separation or anything like that, it really is just powering that port. So what's the answer if you've got one of these killer hubs? If you've got uh, just low loads into it, you're not putting anything like, you know, anything that requires massive amounts of power, you can still use this hub, I reckon, but uh, just by, let's see if I can plug this in. If I plug this in to say, suppose this little pink thing is the, the host, it will provide power uh, without this power supply being plugged in at all. And then when you plug loads into it, it'll power as many as you could power off that port. So if it's just things like, you know, if you've got nothing that draws major current, like a printer, um, scanner, uh, a mouse, a keyboard, you should be able to plug those in just like a normal hub. 
But um, I would say if you've got one of these and you do plug it into the computer without this being plugged in and everything powers up all right and the blue LED lights, then I'd say you may want to stop using it with the plug-in power supply because all that's doing is smacking 5 volts straight back up into your computer and it seems to it seems to kill Macs apparently so uh, that's, uh, that's good to know uh, not if you're a Mac owner and you've just done it but yes, it seems, seems really really odd that they've done that but uh, there you go